Is that it? Hold on, let me tuck it behind my ear a little bit. Oh, hold on. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between. I am back with my natural hair and somebody else's hair. And guess what? It is another Amazon hair review. First, before we go ahead and get into it, I'm gonna ask y'all a quick question. Could you subscribe, hit the post notification bell, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying. I decided to do some clip-ins today, some Amazon clip-ins. So we're gonna try them together. And um, girl, I'm gonna show y'all why I wear wigs. <laughs> Your hair is supposed to flop out. Like you got, girl, this, this, is, this is my natural hair, child. My natural hair, I love it. But the fact of the matter is, um, my hair don't fit my personality. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot of personality and a little bit of hair and I don't like it. So I have a way that I like to wear clip-ins and this is especially, this is especially for the girlies that have thin, fine hair like me. Cause I got both baby. A strand of my hair, you could not see it in the light. Okay girl, you can't see it girl. It's invisible fishing line. <laughs> it don't look as thin from the side, but from the front, when I try and part it down the middle and give you a little bit of like girl, so the clip-ins that I chose to get are from A Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. So ABH hair, hair Extensions. So I have two types. I have the Yaki Straight Clip-ins. Now I wanted to get two in two different lengths because I wanted to see if I could get a layered look on my head. But I don't think I don't know if I need two packs. I guess we'll see, girl. This is what it looks like when you open the packaging. I will leave links for this hair down below everything that i mentioned in this video most of it is going to be from amazon they are affiliate links i do get paid off of affiliate links but this video was sponsored by me because i bought this myself this is the packaging you get your hair in a little plastic baggie we'll open that in a second and you also get a comb clips i think i did work with abh before hold on i think i did and a hair extensions card so let's open up this here so this is what it looks like inside the package this is the yaki straight clip-ins in 14 inches how many ounces is this girl this don't look like a lot of hair it's tall 14 inches is pretty long this is what the hair is looking like so you get how many clips one do i need to count them or do they tell you on the page hold on the 14 inch Yaki is $69.90. I have mine in, in the natural color. It's a set of seven pieces. So you get one eight inch piece with four clips, two six inch pieces with three clips on each piece, three four inch pieces with two clips each, and one two inch piece with one clip each piece. But you get seven pieces. Um, it's 100 grams of hair. The texture is yakky straight. It is 100% human hair. It doesn't seem yakky to me, but there is a little bit of texture to it. So, yakky is supposed to have a little bit more bump, bump, bump into it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing for the 16 inch. And here, let's see if they gave me any different gifts or anything. So, these are 16 inches. And they gave me extra clips. So same thing. I think I dropped the extra clips on this one. But they gave me extra clips to install to my clip-ins as well. So let's open the 16 inch. Let me see if it's any different. Oh, it came with a card in it. Hold on. Hold on, friend. This is Yaki straight. Hold on. This feels like Yaki. Wait. What'd they send me? Because that one feels straight. Hold on. This one comes like with a wrapping on it the other one didn't it was just kind of gathered together did somebody wear their hair has that been in somebody's scalp no ma'am i'm gonna tell y'all right now the 14 and 16 inch is not the same and i feel like i ordered the same thing but i don't know if y'all can tell like look at the difference in the hair texture can you tell from here which one has the texture girl i guess we're gonna have to mix these together so i love the texture on this one so much better than I do this one. This one's like really silky. For the hair first, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it so I can go ahead and get all these little lumps and bumps out of it. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let me put my headphone in so I can listen to something. I don't know what's wrong with me, girl, but I feel like I gotta listen to something all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Revlon One Step. I think you can get this from Amazon. This is the first edition. Um, you also can get it from Target. I'll leave a link for it down below. I'm gonna blow dry it on high heat. Okay, well girl, it wasn't even working, so. 
Okay y'all, so this is what it looks like after it's been blow dry. And when I tell you, super easy to blow dry and look at that. So I tell you, yes. Yeah. So I got most of the little, um, like the boxed curve in out of it. And look how pretty it is. Like, oh, I love it. Now this yakky texture, I love. Now this, <laughs> this silky texture, baby, I don't, this wasn't what I asked for. See, 16 and 14, they look to be about the same length too. I guess I'll be mixing these together because they look to be about the same length, right? That's pretty. Of course, it was much easier to blow dry because this is more of like a silky straight. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with our natural hair. Because I have very, very fine hair, I do not do my base the same as everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So for my clip-ins, so for clip-ins, typically people just insert the clips into their hair and they part and they put it in. That don't work for me because clip-ins don't stay in this hair, girl. It can't even grip. Girl, I can't put nothing in here and it's gonna stay. I'm gonna part out my leave out, which I'm gonna leave out, I feel like a little bit more than I usually do. Because my hair at the top is healthy. It's just like not, you know I'm just gonna part my finger because I can. <laughs> See, look, it's easier to part my finger. Okay, we're gonna section this hair away. This is a lot more leave out than I'm used to, but I feel like I'm safe with this much leave out, especially if I cut it. So I guess we'll see. Usually I don't do leave out on the edges, but I am gonna leave out these hairs right here, right? All these broken off edges, like I really got this many broken off edges, that's a lot. Like I really need to get my life together. <laughs> the rest of this is gonna be braided down. And as for the back, am I gonna leave any out in the back? Probably just a little bit in the back, right? Now, if you can't braid, you can also, oh no, this is what I used to do. I used to pull my hair back in a ponytail. <gasps> oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's forget braiding. I forgot, girl, I forgot how I used to do it. I had to remember how I used to do it back in the day. I would just take all my hair, right? Either you can add some product, but I don't think I'm gonna add product today. I used to just pull all of my hair back into a low pony, and then I'll clip it in from there. So let me go get a rubber band. So just a low pony like this. I have some rubber bands and I also have my edge control. This is the She Is Bomb collection edge control. So this is perfect for the girls that A, have fine hair, B, don't feel like clipping all this hair all up and through, and C, um, lazy like me. So I'm gonna take some edge control, add it to a baby hair brush and just lay down the hair. Because I was thinking like, oh girl, I do not feel like braiding all this hair. And if you can't braid, girl, this is a perfect method for you. Just take it and put it in a low ponytail. Do a low pony in the back. Pull it tight. And then I would take my natural hair, braid it. Girl, you see... You see how little this braid is? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's embarrassing. This little braid here and then I would just pin it up like this. Now this is so much more seamless with curly hair but this also works with this type of hair so. Okay, so I take a bobby pin and I just pin this hair up. Oh, I'm not sure if this is something I came up with. I really can't remember. I used to do this like early 20s this is how I used to do my clip-in so this is done now, I'm still gonna bring out some edges on this part so it looks like more realistic and we'll lay down some baby hairs just a tad bit later actually I can lay some down now lay down some baby hairs here and next what we're gonna do is add the clip-ins now I want to see what a single set of the Yaki clip-ins looks like. Like, I wanna see if I actually can do a full head. So, if it'll look like a full head, and if not, we'll do the two. So, this is a 16 inch 
here. Now let's go ahead and unwrap everything, girl. Like I said, there are seven clips in this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and separate them out and see which clip ins go where. Two, three clips, one big clip. Oh, girl, this ain't home. This is not gonna be a full head. You definitely need to. No, we got three two clips and one one clip. What am I gonna do with one one clip? So I'm gonna start with a two clip at the very bottom. These clips are the perfect clips for natural hair. It's the U-shaped clips, not the ones with the little buttons at the end, like the teeth clips. These are U-shaped. So it's much denser on the hair and it doesn't tug as much as the other type of clips do. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So let me start back around. I think I feel like a three clip. So I'm gonna do a three clip. And let's see how far we get. <laughs> And they easily pop into place. It's a little bit tight. Okay. I'm gonna do a four clip. I'm at the girl. It's getting. It's oh y'all can't see. It's getting hectic, y'all. It don't look too bad. It's giving mullet. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely not a full head. Yeah, I should girl. This is not a full head. At all, I got a little head. Girl, we are done. I only got two clips left, and this is as far as I got. <laughs> now, so you definitely need two boxes, because this is half a head. So, yeah. <laughs> no, this ain't gonna do it. This ain't it. I could do a little swoop, but girl, um, I'm gonna end up having to mix these two together. I'm missing a clip. Oh, they in my head, shall. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the rest of these clips and organize these over here as well. So we have in total 14 clips. Now I wanna see if 14 clips is gonna give us a nice, cute, full head. Okay? Hey, girl, I can say right now that my clips are really inconsistent in length. Okay, so this is a the same length on the two different inches, but this one has Three clips and that one has four clips. Why? Why Why is it like that? One of the packs has two one clips and another pack has one one clip. Hold on. <laughs> what are we talking about? This is confusing. The clips are not, it's, it's not um, consistent, but we still gonna work with it, okay? Um, I like the texture of the 16 inch Yaki. I really do. But it's just that I wish the brand was a little bit more consistent. What are we talking about? A restyle this ponytail, and we going we still gonna add this hair in, friend. Y'all know I gotta see it through my boy. Ain't nobody nobody say that no more. And we're gonna get to clipping again. I'm gonna start at the very back and then work my way up. But I'm just gonna be freestyling it at this point. So I'm gonna start with a two clip, and then I'll probably describe what I'm doing. Let me put a headphone in so I can concentrate. All right. Two clip. Large three clip. Is this? Girl, this ain't even making sense over here. Four clip. Two clip. Change my mind, one clip. <laughs> three clip. Oh girl, silky three clip. <laughs> Another three clip. Two clip. One clip. Two clips. Two clip. Girl, I don't have enough hair still. What's going on? One clip in the middle. Okay, last one. Ooh. Ooh, 
Okay. Hmm. How does it look? I don't know. Oh, it don't look too bad. Hold on. Hold on. So this is what it looks like from the front to the back. I don't know if there are any tracks falling out. I don't think so. Is there? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I think this is a little bottom heavy, but I'm not moving these tracks around. Okay, let me see if I can pull my natural hair out and see if we can blend it and straighten it and do all that stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all don't want me to get started, okay? Oh, girl, we about to get started. Okay, I got plenty of hair to, well, let's see. It's giving ain't too shabby. Okay, it's giving not too bad. In order to straighten my natural hair, I'm gonna use my T3 Smart Iron. Now, this was from Amazon. I think it was a, it was like a sponsored Amazon Live back when I used to do Amazon Lives all the time. It's protective of your hair and the way they designed this. It is keyless, so it's a really, really smooth uh, touch screen flat iron. Hold on, don't do that. Why is it doing that? Turn this off. Girl, not me playing with my touch screen. I don't know how to do this. Is it already heated up? I know it's not. That's a lie. Okay, let's see. Let me see if I can straighten my hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna flat iron my hair. Y'all know how to flat iron hair. Oh. Now my gray is popping out. Ooh. Baby, what? <laughs> is that my hair flattening like that? Hold on. Okay, let's do this one side. Oh, oh that's hot. Okay. Wow, that flat iron is, wow. <laughs> that flat iron, baby, she got busy. Oh. Oh, and I got little bangs, that's all. I, don't worry about that, girl, I got bangs. <laughs> I'm gonna flat iron the other side, girl. If this thing work out, hold on. Y'all might have a new clip in girl here and probably not, but you know what I'm saying? Let's do this side. Ow. That was dramatic. Wow. My hair looks real shiny or them grays are peeking through. But what? Girl. Hold on, is that it? Hold on, let me tuck it behind my ear a little bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, girl, it's giving natural. Okay, so I'm about to do my edges and then I'm done, but like, wait, I think I'm wanting something friend. And you can flat iron this hair without thinking like, oh my God, I think I'm a, Ruin my hair. No, girl. This ain't yours. <laughs> Flat iron it if you want to. I think I'm gonna use the wax stick for my baby hairs because I don't want to use um, this edge control. I love this cheese bomb edge control, but it is water based. So it could revert your hair. And girl, my hair ain't gonna stay too long. So if I sleep in them, is that gonna be too much? But they're really comfortable. Like, I feel like I can go to bed pretty tonight. Oh, hold on. <laughs> baby, if I can go to bed pretty, I'm gonna be so happy. So I'm gonna take a baby hair brush and this She Is Bomb wax stick and I'm going to lay down some baby hairs. Just, you know, like a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, a little bit everywhere. If I wanna do a little bit of real hair realness, like, come on. Like, I'm really excited about this. Hold on. I never really like this swoop moment, but I gotta do something with this hair in the front. <laughs> Does that even look right? Like, what's going on there? Girl. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my edge control in this part. And this baby hair brush is squoozing my forehead. <laughs> what's happening there? Why did I do that? I could've left well enough alone. Oh girl, that don't look right at all. I could've left that. We're just gonna brush that back. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Hold on. I kinda wanna cut it just a little bit. 
I don't know if cutting it would be beneficial for me because I gotta use these clips again and I may not use them in the same order, but I don't care. <laughs> it's what it'll look right now. So I'm gonna trim it at the bottom. This almost feels like I'm cutting my real hair. <laughs> Just a little bit off the bottom. I could have left well enough alone though. I really could have. <laughs> But this is cute. Okay, so the last step is I'm gonna take a little bit of a wax stick on my hands and I'm just going to smooth down like the hairs that kind of fly away. Girl, that was so simple. Like, are you kidding me? That was so simple. Hold on. Okay, so let me see if I can pull this hair back in a ponytail. Cause this is what it looks like without it. Just me and my natural hair girl. Just growing a few inches, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Girl, I'm... See, we can do a low pony. We can do a low pony. And I didn't leave any hair out in the back. Girl, what are we talking about? This is awesome. Low ponytail. Okay, it looks like a weave. Okay, you can kind of see. I probably should have left some hair out in the back. But baby, you can get your hair off your neck. Do a little one-two run. It's effective for people that have fine hair and for people that don't know how to do braids or their hair can't take braids or if you wanna save some money and get a sew-in but you don't gotta do no, no sew-in prices, no sew-in effort, just clip it in, pull your hair back in a ponytail, clip it in and go. And do, I'm happy about it. Y'all tell me what you think down below. I love this, absolutely gorgeous. You can see the angles. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the back. I didn't do a lot of styling, but this is what it looks like in the back. Really happy with this method. I think y'all should try it out if you haven't tried it out already. If y'all have seen this method before, please let me know. Cause I can't remember how I came up with this idea or where I got it from, but this is how I used to wear it back in the day and still, it looks better on straight hair. We're into it. So y'all let me know what you think down below. Um, well, I gotta tell you, it's better than a V part wig. I like it much better than a V part. It just feels more natural. I don't know. I don't know what to say. And it's so flat. I'll get into this method. Okay. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. I would give it like a five out of 10, but no, a s the hair is great. <laughs> Mixing the two textures was actually smart, um, but I don't know what textures you're gonna get. So I like the hair, but I have to tell you, you don't expect to get what I get because I ordered twice and got two different types of hair, two different types of clip-ins, two different, girl, it's just every, it's just different, but. As far as the hair quality, I love it. Both of them, the silky type and the yucky type was really good quality. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Um, I'm probably gonna check in with y'all a little bit later if I sleep in this to let y'all know if this is a comfortable method. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this Amazon clip-in wig review, Amazon clip-in hair review. I love you all and I don't know girl. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey y'all, it's the next day. Oh, I left my ring in the bathroom. It's the next day and I slept in the clip-ins because I wanted to tell y'all what it felt like to sleep in, sleep in it with this style. So I just put on like, girl, I put on like five scarves, okay, to make this work. It's five scarves, scarves to make this work. So I have on this scarf. Let's see what it looked like first. Okay, first, Oh, and the rest of these are gonna slide off. So it's Oh, just one other scarf. The other one dropped, girl, but this is what it looks like. Oh, period. Girl, why does my forehead look so big? <laughs> wow, why does my forehead look so big? This is what it looks like next day. Really easy, simple. I didn't really feel any pain while I was sleeping, so the clips were really, really comfortable. The only pain I had was like a little bit of tugging right here because I put this clip in in a little bit differently than this one. And like where my ponytail is, I felt a little bit of pressure like back here, but that's it. It was,
painless. It felt like I didn't really have anything in it except for like what I pulled on this side and this side is tender and that's it. But if you're tender headed, I think you may have like a little bit of a different experience, but that's what it looks like. Did you see that clip in? I put it up a little bit too far. This one's further back, so it doesn't like hurt you know so hopefully this is a good review for you all and i like the way the hair turned out this is definitely something i would do um on vacation or you know if i just was sick of wearing wigs and i just wanted to be cute that day so yeah y'all tell me what you think down below i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye i need to go eat